Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Yami. This is my channel. Thank you so much for joining. Before we get started, make sure you hit that bell right here so that you get notified of when my videos go live and you never miss another one again. If you've been here a time or two before, thank you so much for joining us once again. Today's video is gonna be a q and I've been getting a lot of random questions on Instagram, so I figured why not make a Q&A out of this? So this is what we're doing. I'm just gonna pop up the, the post. This was the post that I asked you guys to ask the questions on and uh, let's just get started. We have over 60 comments on here, so let's do this. Becca, can I be a cookie taster? Yes. Young Emilia asks, what are you doing at training camp in Nashville? Oh, I'm having my first event in Nashville on September 23rd from 12 to four. We changed the times, it's gonna be from 12 to four now. 12 to one is gonna be like the check-in, come hang area, and then we're gonna start at one end at four so if you want a day of just community and empowerment and workouts and yoga and food come on over to training camp nashville i'm going to put the link in the description box so that you can rsvp because we do need to know how many people are coming so that we can have the special gift bags waiting for you so that's what i'm doing september 23rd 12 to 4 be there abby asks how did you find balance after your shows i think for me it was definitely a a process as it is for anything right I was dieting for so long I mean even before competing I was dieting and I think that it was just a mental thing knowing to slow it down and realize that competing was not I hate saying this because everyone says it but it's not realistic you know we all want our bodies to look the way we look during prep for you know 24 7 but unfortunately or fortunately that's just not the case and I think it's just getting more comfortable with your body and the changes that you see happening and and knowing that whether you're a size zero or a size I don't know eight that does not make you less of a person so I think it's more of a mental thing than a physical thing because there are some days that I feel like a total badass and there are days that I look like that I feel like I look like a total whale but I look the exact same, if that makes any sense at all. I think it's just doing other things that have nothing to do with your body, right? It's maybe something that like excites you and takes the focus away from your body and, and it makes you realize that it's not all about your body all the time. I think that since we're in this fitness space, that's what it's all about all the time for us, or we think it is, but that's just the little bubble that we're in. So I think my advice for women that are, or girls that are getting out of competing, try other things because that'll take the focus away from your body and the focus away from the food and it'll put it towards something more creative, more challenging for you, something that you're just not used to. Here, Corey, would you ever pursue acting again and when can we hang out again? Well, there's a room waiting for you, so it's, that's on you, girl. And then, would I ever pursue acting again? Um, you know, I think about it all the time. I'm like, mm, should I have left New York City? Um, and you know, there's no what, I mean, I hate doing the what ifs thing, but if there was an opportunity for me to pursue that here, here in Houston, I probably would. Tracy Callahan, are the cookies Taz is making macros friendly? <laughs> no. I mean, I guess it depends on your macros, right? If you have a ton of macros, then yes. If you don't, then no. <laughs> but they're so good. Emily A Fitness asks, this may be TMI, but have you ever tried laser hair removal or waxing? Wondering how all these cute Instagram girls wear bikinis and have and never have razor burn at all. I actually haven't done any of those. I haven't done laser or waxing down there. I am lucky enough to not get much, hold on my dog. I am lucky enough to not get a lot of like razor burn bumps and that's just, what, that's what I was given. <laughs> Lita Cassandra, why didn't you move to Miami near your family? I am not a fan of Miami. I like it to visit from time to time, but I just don't see myself living there full time anymore. And I, you know, I love my family, obviously, but I just felt like I couldn't thrive there as a person. And I just was not comfortable in Miami and I just wanted to expand, keep expanding my horizons, you know what I mean? I think that we still want to keep moving because we just, we have like the wanderlust bug, you know, we just want to keep looking at new cities, trying new cities, just seeing what's out there because I feel like if we stay in one place, you won't you won't learn, you know? Emily Giel, do you and Taz want kids? Yes. Sandona, I see you travel around a lot, which is so awesome. Thank you. Is your restaurant job pretty flexible with your hours? Yes, when I got hired, I gave them that disclosure. I told them that my life is set up this way and I'm gonna be traveling a lot. So when I can, I put in my two weeks notice, but when I can't, Luckily, they're they're nice enough to let me like get people to cover, and yeah, they're pretty flexible. 
Jenny, Jesse, if you could travel to any country, city in the world, all exclusive, where would you go? Ooh, man, there's so many different ones. Bali, Australia is like up there for me. So I think Australia, Maldives, Bali, Fiji, Philippines. Oh my gosh, I, I can't just pick one. Cookies or donuts? Mmm, soft, chewy cookies and cake donuts. <laughs> What's your ethnicity? I am Dominican and Palestinian. Did you get a breast augmentation? If so, what was your experience like? I did and I have a full video on it. I'll link it in the description box below. JM the boy, what's your biggest motivator? Who inspires you the most? Love your videos, can't wait to see this one. That is really sweet, thank you. Um, my biggest motivator. Are you asking who motivates me the most or who like cheers me on the most? Because I feel like Becca hypes me up way too much. <laughs> like when I talk to Becca, I feel like I could rule the world, you know? And Taz motivates me too, but I feel like he's with me all the time. So to hear it from someone else that I don't hang out with all the time, it just gives me like a, a whole different, like, I literally feel like I will take over the world when I talk to Becca. So thank you, Becca, for hyping me up. Who inspires me the most? I get inspiration from a lot of different people. Like Becca, for example, she's a kick-ass mom, handles so much, and I don't know how she's still living. <laughs> like she has so much going on and she still maintains you know a smile on her face and she works super hard and then I also have Rachel Hollis I recently came to know about her and I just she's an author and a badass woman and just an entrepreneur and does so many things and you know I I struggle with finding balance in my life like my work life balance and just seeing all these incredible women just like makes me feel so like oh like show me your ways <laughs> Low fod map food asks, did you stop your diet? I'm not sure what diet you're talking about, but we are not vegan if that's what you're talking about. Oh, anymore. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes. <laughs> Emma Pearl, love her. What's your favorite thing about fitness and nutrition? My favorite thing I think is that there's not one size fits all. I think that you can tailor fitness and nutrition to fit your lifestyle, whether it is like a Zumba class or a yoga class or bodybuilding. Fitness is not just one thing. And I think that that's the problem that some people have when they think of fitness. They think it's just like being in a gym for two hours to get in shape, and that's not the case. So I think my favorite thing is how, how diverse it is and how there are so many different options that fit into that fitness and wellness space. Lorette, I always wonder if your long hair ever gives you headaches. Does it? I, I swear it does because sometimes when I have it up in a ponytail, I just like have to take it off and it just relieves so much. And you see how I just like flip my hair? When I do that, like, it like creates a sensation of relief. It's, yes, I'm pretty sure it does. <laughs> Kimberly Health Fit. How do you stay so motivated when it comes to working out and eating right? I'm finding it hard to stay on track and I've been falling off the wagon lately. Well, I think one thing that we need to remember is that we fall off the wagon. Um, that, that's normal, right? We can't be so hard on ourselves when we fall off the wagon because we're, we're humans. This is life. It's not gonna be perfect. Things happen celebrations happen, you know, special occasions, and you just can't be so hard on yourself. But at the end of the day, it comes to discipline and not motivation. You know, motivation is gonna get you so far like, yay, I'm motivated for this week to do whatever. But once that week ends, we go back to like our normal routine and that motivation is no longer there. So that discipline to do those things is what's gonna set you apart from reaching your goals and not reaching your goals. Omega, I think. Can you make a Yoga Flow DVD or download that can be saved to a flash drive? Same format as the 2017 Vlogmas 21. Aw, makes me so happy that you guys want to see more flows. I've been actually, I've actually been asked a lot to do more flows and I'm trying to figure out what the best way to do it for YouTube is. So if you guys have any suggestions on how you guys want to see the Yoga Flows, let me know. Like, do you want to see just the flow and then I do a voiceover or do you want me to talk throughout the flow? Oh, there's so many different questions and there's so many different things I can do. So if you have a request for yoga flows, let me know below. KJ Ambar Ambrambo, if you're 5'10", how tall is Taz? He towers over you. He does and I love it. He's 6'4". Andrea Pashki, one thing you wish you would have known before starting Lavavi. Biggest thing you've learned from starting your own business. Tips for others just starting. Girl. <laughs> um... It's never gonna go your way the first way. <laughs> Hope that made sense. We've been through so much with the rebranding. It hasn't been smooth sailing at all. I've been frustrated, I almost gave up. But I think if I can tell myself one thing before starting is that this will happen. Like, 
you know, you might not like the first few samples and you might not be understood correctly. And, you know, you just, if you really want something, you just have to keep going and not give up. And I think that's my biggest advice for anybody that's just starting out. If you see a vision and someone's not doing it, number one, start it yourself. And number two, don't stop perfecting that vision or don't stop perfecting it until you see that vision come to life. So just because someone else doesn't see your vision doesn't mean that that vision is not good. So if you really, really, really believe in something, do not stop until you see it come to life. Amy Fit Iron Butterfly, how are you keeping that amazing physique since you are taking a break from the gym and working out to de-stress your body? I watched a vlog, thank you. And with all the cookie temptations. I'll be honest, there is a lot of temptations, but I only have one to two cookies, maybe three max a day, a day. When back in the day, I would get like three or four in one sitting. So. I don't know, I think my my body's just changed, my my eating has just changed, and I appreciate the comment on the amazing physique, but it's it's not amazing. I mean, it's fine, but it's not. Like, I don't want you to think that I have this amazing physique. All right, moving on. <laughs> Michelle 11 what are your best tips on intuitively eating and living life not entirely revolving around food and fitness? I think that ties into what I said earlier. I think it's just doing other things besides focusing everything on food and fitness like try something else take an art class take a pottery class take a dance class take something that does not revolve around your body and looking at your body i think with food is a little bit different because food we use food for everything in life right for a celebration everything revolves around food so i think with the food issue if you're going out to a party or a celebration or or whatever focus on the people around you focus on those connections and have the food be secondary i'm not saying to not enjoy the food but just shift your focus so that you're enjoying the company that you're with. Because I know that sometimes for me, I was super anxious to go out to parties and dinners and stuff because of the food. And all I was focused on was the food. And I was like, how many calories does that chicken nugget have? Or how many calories does that brownie have? Where now, if I focus on my community and who I'm with, I really don't really care. Like I'm not really focused on how many calories a brownie has that I just kind of only want one at the end of the day. You know, I just, I feel like if you shift your focus into into creating relationships with people wherever you're at, you kind of lose sight about the food. Like I went to my connect group the other day and they had cheesecake and brownie and cake and I ended up eating so much fruit and a piece of brownie and I had two bites of cheesecake because I hated it. And I think I would probably just eat the cheesecake anyway back in the day just because I could. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I'm gonna title this video, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Rico revealed, if you were an action figure, what accessory would you come with? And or, what would be your WWE name if you were to come a wrestler? <laughs> um, Yami Mami. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and if I was an action figure, well, I've always wanted to fly. And I think I would probably have like, like a globe, like what are those called? A snow globe, but with powers. I, I don't know what powers. Maybe like, oh, maybe I could have like a snow globe that I can like shake and gives me different powers at different times. So like I can choose to fly or I can choose to like read people's minds or I can choose, I don't know. I don't think about this very often, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> How did you and Taz meet? Oh, we met at Equinox in New York City when we both started working there. And because I'm just so curious, why did you start a YouTube channel? I started a YouTube channel because every agency in New York City and everywhere I went, they would not sign me. I wanted to model and act. And they were saying that I was too fat and that I would never make my dreams come true. So I decided to start myself and give myself this, this outlet. And it's been the best thing I've ever done. So M Rush asks, would you ever compete again? Why or why not? I don't want to say yes or no. Uh, right now it's a no, but I never want to say never because opinions change, feelings change. So as of right now, not. As of right now, no, but I don't know in the future. Cameron 79, Cameron 79, Cameron 7904 asks, wedding plans in the future? Um, not that I know of. <laughs> Taz and I have so many different goals that we have and um, I think that we wanna be like financially stable when we think about marriage and starting a family and everything. So therefore that goes to show you that we're not financially stable right now. <laughs> so no plans as of right now. And then I'm looking for one question that I wanted to leave for the end. 
Here we go. Steph Scott asks, have you ever considered that some of your health issues are from your breast implants? I'm just wondering because I know breast implant illness has been a hot topic lately. So yes, I've thought about that from when these health issues like became more prominent. And you know, I have a lot of friends that are going through explants right now. And you know, I've done a lot of research on that as well. And some women have found success after the surgery and some women have remained the same. So I'm still really torn. Um, which is why I'm, I'm working with my doctor right now, my acupuncturist, and we're gonna do some blood tests to make sure everything's okay. And you know, we're gonna rule out everything before we say that it's the breast implant illness. So while I have thought about it, yes, you know, I feel like my anxiety gets the best of me and it creates this entire thing that makes me think it's something, but it's really not. So, you know, I, I wanna be logical about this and which, which is why I'm doing a lot of tests with the acupuncturist. She's sending me to get some blood work done and um, we're gonna rule out everything first before saying, yes, it is your boobs. Um, so, you know, while everyone is getting explanted, I've heard that some girls get really positive results while others kind of just stay the same. So before undergoing surgery once again and, you know, spending a lot of money and everything, I want to make sure that it, you know, I want to rule out that it's nothing else and, and it, it is. So, you know, I, I think we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But as of right now, we're just taking all the, the steps needed to figure out what's causing it. Because I've had, you know, when I sit down and think about all of the symptoms that I have, a lot of the symptoms that I've had that I'm currently having were before my surgery or before I got the implants. And, you know, some have gotten a little bit worse, some have gotten a little bit better, but a lot of them, most of them, I've had since before my surgery. So I don't wanna think fast and just do something because everyone's doing it and get them removed. Um, I wanna really do my research and really figure out what is the underlying cause of everything. So um, I know a lot of people have been wondering that about me and I appreciate the concern, but we're gonna take action step by step, like I said, and figure out and, and just rule out everything first before moving on to surgery. So, that's it. Okay, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this q and If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them below and I'll get to them. Duh. But last thing, if you're interested in joining my August Mind, Body, and Soul four-week challenge, also click on the link below. We start August 20th and I'm so excited because I've made some changes and I know it's just gonna be like a, a big improvement for this. You know, I feel like there was something missing and I think that I might have figured it out. So, if you have any questions on the challenge, please feel free to email me, DM me, whatever, and I'll get back to you. We start August 20th and I'd love to have you. So with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.